an excellent video, uh, and it uh, points out some interesting things about democracy and how the term is colloquially used. Um, I think that uh, a lot of people are very sloppy when it comes to talking about democracy because they assume that it's always clear exactly what they mean, and your video has indicated that uh, no, it certainly isn't always clear, and that we'd have to sort of define our reference here. We'll have to sort of say what exactly it is we're talking about when we say democracy. For example, the kind of government that most Western countries have today, including that of the United States, uh, is not the sort of thing that, say, the ancient Greeks or Romans or anybody would have recognized as a democracy. Um, they, the ancient version of democracy was you have a show of hands basically to decide anything, uh, including who lives and who dies. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you could be tried, essentially, for being a jerk and put to death on those grounds. Uh, that's democracy as the ancients understood it, and very few of the ancient writers had anything particularly good to say about democracy. We don't live in a situation uh, that they would describe as democracy. We um, are more or less uh, governed in the West by elected oligarchies that are answerable to various checks and balances um, within a culture of more or less at least lip service to the sanctity of human rights and uh, civil rights and freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, all that kind of thing. Um, the ancients didn't have anything like that. There was no freedom of speech in Athenian democracy. There was no freedom of assembly. There was no freedom of anything. It was just you get together and you vote on things and you decide anything by a show of hands. <coughs> Mob rule, in other words, or it looked an awful lot like it. Um, that's not democracy as it's understood in today's world. I think that the way I would sort of sum it up, uh, my sort of pro-democracy views are such that uh, I'd simply say that it was the what we've got right now is not necessarily the best that's possible in the real world, but the least bad political situation that I can imagine in the real world. Um, I'm not going to praise democracy per se. It's a, it's a in many ways, it's a terrible, wasteful, inefficient, stupid, unjust system. Um, but given today's realities and the realities of people, I don't really see how we could do otherwise. It's not to say that there's not room for improvement. Uh, right now, uh, there's a big kerfuffle going on um, about Russia getting ostracized for its um, <coughs> uh, anti-gay laws or perceived anti-gay laws. Um, well, um, democratically speaking, uh, we should have a show of hands, and if the majority of people say that um, homosexuality should be um, punishable by death, then the will of the people has been expressed, and that's the end of it. Uh, well, we don't live in that kind of situation, and what we now consider democracy is people should have freedom of conscience, freedom of uh, whatever you're doing, uh, as long as you're not bothering anybody else's, no one else's business. That has nothing to do with democracy, but that's how we understand democracy these days. We probably ought to come up with a better word for that, for what we consider to be our political system or our ideal political system. Um, I don't think anyone thinks that democracy is going to automatically produce good leaders. <laughs> I think that we sort of think, well, in as much as we have any respect for any of our leaders, and most people, I think, don't really have a great deal of respect for the people who run their own country, even if they do respect the offices that these people occupy. In other words, if you think Obama's a jerk, well, you at least respect the presidency, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> we accept the principle that provided... Uh, we have to have leaders. If we accept the fact that society has to have some kind of government, if we accept the fact that society has to have some kind of government, um, having them chosen by some sort of popular mechanism, uh, be it voting or whatever, um, is pretty much the best way to choose leaders um, with limited terms, that kind of thing. But that's a big if. That's assuming that we uh, accept the fact that we need leaders. Uh, there's so many assumptions built into our views of democracy that I don't think that anybody, if you actually quiz them on the on democracy, would actually come up and tell you that they believe in it. 
um, ask anybody what they think of their own government, and they'll probably... I, I can imagine very few people actually having much, many good things to say about it. Ask them what they think of their form of government, they might go along with that. <clears throat> Ask them if they think that the form of government that they've got is ideal, and I don't think you'll find very many people that think that at all. As I say, it's just the least bad system that we've got, given today's realities. Plenty of room for improvement, and I think that almost everybody would agree on that. <laughs> Great video.